Hello everyone and welcome to a scrapbook layout share with a little bit of a difference. This time I'm concentrating on the mix-in papers which are in the current catalogue. So this is the January February catalogue. I'll just flip through to them. You can see it's a very soft palette look on this page but when you put them with black and white they look a little bit more vibrant than what they do in the actual catalogue here. I love the patterns with the mix-ins. These are one of my favourite collections within each and every release and all of the layouts that I'm going to show you today just use the mix-in papers. I do want to point out that these are designed to go with other collections within the book. So this is the Sweet Memories papers. I'll just fold this over a little bit so that you can see them side by side here and how well the patterns and the tones go with Sweet Memories. The other collection that is in this book is a much more vibrant collection and it is called Let's party. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to roll this over so you can have a little look. We've got the bluebird colour here. Ballerina is in here. The greys will go with any of these colours and also the greens match up. Even this soft blue will match in with the colours in this paper. When you look at it in the catalogue it looks more pastel than it does a vibrant look but when you see it up against the white and with black elements it takes on a bit more of a vibrancy which is very well suited with the Let's Party collection. But I have just concentrated with these six sheets of pattern paper today and I've created 10 layouts. Now there's a bit of a theme with this and I do have a workshop guide. I thought I'd bring it in just to show you how I set these out. Everything here is basically a four inch cut. So I've called this one a four inch by four inch mixing scrapbook guide. It will work across all all paper collections with six pattern papers. On most of them I have used both sides except for one of the patterns I just used the stripe because I really did like this pattern and it worked well with all the other colors. And when I do my workshop guides I put a list of everything that I've used with them. I've got all the cuts that you need with them including the zip strips that I've used and then full color photos as well as instructions that you can use to create these pages and you can definitely substitute these with other patterns and I'm going to bring in some samples at the end to show you how it takes on a different look with different pattern papers. The main aim with these layouts was to have a foundation with four by four inches. Obviously some of them have been cut down just a little bit but they all start off as four by four inches. I've got a lot of stamp sets here that I have used but these can be substituted for anything. I mainly wanted to use things all from this current catalogue because I'm doing a weekend retreat. So these are the pages that the ladies are going to be making and of course I wanted to showcase the wonderful stamp sets. So on this one here I've created a pinwheel type look and I've used the camera out of the Sweet Memories card making and I have used the Happy Birthday here from the Let's Party card making workshop. So it's a combination of two totally different looks. This has more of a vintage type feel but when you pair it with more modern elements it works quite well. The die cut here is what sold me with this set so you can die cut the happy. The birthday is fabulous because it is all one piece and you can see this I have stacked up quite a bit. I think there's about four Four layers of white here and that gives a chipboard type look and then a shadow layer with the black cardstock. All of the pieces I've used the black Le Pen to outline them all and just to make them pop a little bit more off the page and I love how that has turned out. One thing I will say about this layer when I do something like this and have one featured photo I do quite often do a grid of photos on the other side and if I have more photos to add I can just put flip flaps on this very very easily because there's lots of opportunities here to put the flip flaps out from these three areas. I love popping things up on foam tape and I have put a little clear sparkle in the center of each of these cameras just to add a little bit of bling and then I've scattered some around the happy birthday title here. So we move on to layout two and this is another triangle design on this side so this is the main feature on the left page here and then a border strip to match the patterns in for the left side. I didn't want to put the triangle border on both sides it made it just a little bit too busy and the stamp set I've used for this one is the Operation Smile stamp set for the current cycle for our essentials catalogue. It's called Your Smile. There are no thin cuts with this so it has been fussy cut out but it's quite simple to do with these shapes and I've used the Colorista 
coloured pencils from Spectrum Noir for my colouring on these elements and I just think it brings in the colours from these patterns quite well and I have blended the green in with the blue here and instead of having a traditional colourway on the rainbow I've just picked up the blues and the greens from the pattern paper. I love this smile title here and if you're inking up if this doesn't work as solid as what you would like I've used a stamping platform for this but I've also gone over a little bit of it with a black marker. The other set that I've used on this page for the adventures, the arrows here and also this note paper is the January stamp of the month. It was only available until the end of January but it was one that I had to have because of this note paper cut out here and I've used some die cut black arrows from my stash and this new moments, new memories, new adventures is within this stamp set as well. So let's go on to layout three. This one here, I know it's a bit hard to see up against the Versa mat, but I have got a black base to this and then a white piece cut for the top just to add an extra little frame. The title here is from the current Black Die Cuts titles. There are a lot of titles in this pack. I have opened this one, but you can see that you can make different combinations with these. And I have talked about that in a previous video. So I could have the best life. I could combine sweet and memories and have sweet memories. So you don't just have to stick to one title format you can mix and match all of these words around to create your own titles. There's that camera stamp again from the Sweet Memories card making and I got this one mainly for the camera and also for the little tickets and these labels as well. So I've grouped these together. You can see I've got a group of two here. I've actually got two of the tickets here and when you do the stamp with this it's not just plain like this. I'll bring that out so you can have a look. It does have the 15 seat on here as well. I've stamped two for this section here and I've got one facing this way and the other I've flipped around with the numbers going out the other way. I've added in two of these labels here. This is actually the same one. I've just cut it in half and I've flipped it over so there's one side coming out here and another here. And I've got this one with a little flourish coming out here as well. I do love grouping these sorts of things together. And the other stamp set that I have used for this is Remember This Moment. And I've made these as like offset type Polaroid frames. Even though they're a square, a Polaroid frame is usually in a rectangle but I quite like offsetting them and bringing the photos all in together on this layout and that gives me space to stamp some of these words that come with this stamp set. This is a really versatile stamp set and they're perfect sentiments to group together. I actually made my own word art on a piece in my recent video. I do love these sorts of stamps and they can sometimes take the place of journaling if you don't have a lot to say. One thing I will say about journaling on my pages, if I haven't got a designated spot like I have here, you can always sub substitute a photo holder as your journal spot or you can use a flip flap, hide your journaling underneath and put the photos over top. I've used some black die cut hearts that I've got in my stash but there are black die cut shapes that have hearts and arrows and things like that that are available now. So layout number four takes on a bit of a different theme and I've brought in the pinks for this. This is a version of a grid type layout and then topped and tailed it with some strips of black cardstock and then the outside piece I've folded over so you can see the pattern on the other side. Something that I love about CTMH pattern paper is that it is double-sided. So you're able to choose what side you want to show or you can fold pieces back so you can show both sides. The flowers here are from the Sweet Memories scrapbooking. So I've used this floral. I've also got captured moments from here and photo memories as well. And these are all just stamped in black ink and the leaves come from the February set of the month called Say It With Flowers. You can see this has got a lot of thin cuts with it and the gorgeous florals but I have just used the leaves and this sprig here and I've done reverse stamping for the colouring. If you want to see what reverse stamping is I'll put a link in the description below to a video on how I do reverse stamping. I think using the black journaling pen, the black le pen, really helps define all of these pattern pieces. So let's have a look at layout five. 
And this one I think was the most fun to create. I do love the angle of the squares that run across these two pages here. And this one does take on the more pastel type look, especially because with the stamping that I've used, and this title here is stamped with the shadow alphabet that is currently available. I absolutely love this, but it's done in pine ink. And let me bring in the ink pad because this is pretty true to the color of pine. And you can see that the stamping is not as strong with this one. So I have used second generation stamping so I've stamped inked up stamped off onto a scratch piece of paper and then stamped my title and I love the soft feel that this gives with pine pine's one of my favorite colors and this gives a whole other color tone to it and I've done exactly the same thing with this family stamp here and that is from the sweet memory scrapbooking I had to get this set because of these titles I just love them and then this has got a beveled edge die cut and I know I'm going to be using Using that over and over again and these stars are from that same stamp set so this is second generation periwinkle which gives this soft tone here and this is actually fourth generation black I'm going to hold this up so that you can have a bit of a closer look. You can achieve a gray result from black if you stamp off a few times so I inked up stamped once, twice, three times on scrap, and then the fourth time I stamp direct to page. And that gives a beautiful soft tone. If you don't have a lot of ink pads, have a look at second generation stamping and third generation, and even fourth. If it's a really strong color and a small image like this, it will work really well. So I'm going to bring in the layouts that I've done additional pages for using the same cutting guide. Here's the layout with the current mix-in papers and the same cutting guide I have used with the Sweet Life. This one, I have kept the black tone-on-tone -tone type papers, but it gives a totally different look with the stronger patterns. Now, the Sweet Life was a six by six pack and it was a special from some time ago, but I love how this looks and I have used titles for these layouts that I'm gonna share with you now using Cricut Design Space. If you have a Cricut subscription, you'll be able to find this word art here and I just love how that looks. But it just gives a totally different look to the page when you use a stronger paper. And then I've just used various stamp sets that I have in my collection to finish off the rest of this layout. The next one I'm going to show you is from layout two. So I've used the same It's the Simple Things pack and I've brought in more colorful pattern papers. So this is a whole rainbow of color here rather than this one, while it's not monochromatic, just the blues and the green tones. This one has all the colors of the rainbow in it and I love how this looks. It gives a totally different feel but you can see the similarities between these two layouts. I've done the pen work with the black le pen and I've used black for my mats. When I'm using a lot of color on a page I do tend to gravitate towards black as my photo mats and I think that really highlights that there are a lot of colors on this page that work well together. This is a title that I've created in Design Space and use the offset feature and I do love cameras so I've got a lot of cameras in my stamp sets it's one of the things that I can't resist when a new stamp set comes out if it's got a camera on it you can bet I'm going to be adding that to my cart and I'll just bring in layout one the first one that I showed you so I'll bring in another layout using it's the simple things as well for papers and you can see that gives a totally different look with the blue green tones here these are both Cricut cuts so basically I just search for camera and I find a camera that I want to cut out. This is from one of the Close to My Heart collections and then I've cut a heart and done some little white pen work on here and then the same thing with this one. I've done the same strip section down the side and instead of having the three stamped cameras I've got Cricut cut cameras and I have manipulated them a little bit so that I get a heart and a star for this one in the center of the lens. Now with these little pieces here that are torn out what I do is just put my piece on the back here and do a couple of little pencil lines so I know where I want to tear from and then I flip it around to the front and I tear from there and the reason why I tear from the front is so that I get that rough edge that will appear on the front of this page and then I just adhere the strip at the back of that. I will have a link below for the cutting guide of that if you're interested you can click on that it's in the description as well as a list of everything that I've used for this current mixing pattern paper from the January February catalog. I know I've said this many times 
sometimes, but mix-ins really are one of my favourite paper collections with each and every catalogue that comes out. So I really wanted to do all of these layouts concentrating on just using that paper collection. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've created with this paper packet. I hope to see you next time. As always, happy crafting and bye for now.